Good morning, gang. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. For those of you attending for the first time, I am the Articulate Grunt. Welcome to my channel. It turns out July 9th was a little more special than I had any idea. While not an official holiday on the calendars and books or anything, July 9th has been designated as National No Broad Day. And on the day's Facebook page, a quarter million ladies pledged to attend the event. Brawless. As a guy, I've got three basic thoughts and comments on this. One, better advanced notification. I had no idea until after the fact. Not good. Two, where was this event? I mean, was this going to be like a million man march type thing? Quarter million broadest lady march picnic something going on? We need more information. And finally, three. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jumping across the pond, though, Doug McLean in the UK was cited and fined for creating a public hazard. The police pulled him over and gave him a $93 ticket. What did Mr. McLean do? While driving, he did not wolf whistle, he did not hang his head out the window, but he apparently took his eyes off the road to check out the back-end assets of a young female pedestrian walking down the sidewalk as he was driving past. He was caught on security camera, they have those at the intersections and everything in England, in the UK, and was spotted by police officers doing it as well. So they flagged him down, pulled him over, and ticketed him. Okay. Jumping back here to the U.S., while staying with a subject mildly related to Europe and the Mediterranean, let's visit the Smithsonian. Now, naming a dog can be, a, can be an important thing to all of us pet owners out there, dog lovers. Picking out the best one in the litter can be even more important, making sure you get the best dog, you know, the great one that's going to, you know, be with your family, family for its whole life, you're going to love it, take care of it, and it's going to return all your affections a hundredfold. Well, according to a new Smithsonian article, link in the description, the Greeks found this very, very important as well. Though, they had a completely different way of you know, making their selection, one that perhaps you know, Mr. Vick himself would find very appropriate you know, and clever it turns out the Greek way of selecting which was the best dog in the litter would be to take all the puppies away from their mother. Then you'd take a string, soaked in oil, and surround the puppies in the string, and then light the string on fire. Let the mother dog loose, and let her jump in over the little burning string, and retrieve her puppies from danger. And apparently she being the mother dog and knowing her puppies and which ones were best, she would carry them back out, jumping back over the fire with the puppies in her mouth, one at a time. Of course, the first one she brought out being obviously the best one in the litter, and the one she grabbed last being, you know, you know the one you might pass off down at the equivalent of the Walmart parking lot. So, a little bit of, interest, little bit of interesting, you know, anim animal and human relations, isn't it? No, something to think about in the history books. Moving on here in the States, though, Minerals, Mineral Wells, Texas is taking a bit of heat because they passed a new city ordinance banning the decoration and adornment of funeral headstones, you know, graveyard, cemetery headstones and plots, to include the American flag on every day of the year except Memorial Day and Veterans Day. That's right, to include the 4th of July and Labor Day, no flags, no American flags, no nothing on the cemetery plots, on the headstones or anything. No big surprise, the day after they passed the ordinance, the town hall has been mobbed with complaints, you know, demands that they appeal and repeal this, and July 10th, 
they are having a special session to discuss and consider repealing the flag, just the flag section of the new ordinance. So, let's hope they straighten that out. Staying on flag news, though, leading up to the 4th of July, Hudson, New York, it turns out, was having a problem with some disrespectful or unpatriotic vandals. Turns out, as many as 75 flags, little flags, had been stolen off the, and away from the headstones, in a Civil War cemetery. Um, city so officials got very upset. The police put out cameras to, you know, catch the vandals and the act out who it was and take care of this issue. And it turns out it was family hedgehogs, right? Groundho groundhogs, hedgehogs, however you term them, term them in your appropriate part of the country. As it turns out, the flag's little wood sta sticks, the little staffs, the fl little flags were mounted on were treated with a chemical which is very appealing to groundhogs. They were stealing them, chewing up sticks, and patting their nest with the little flags themselves. From what I understand, the culprits have been apprehended, but you know, have not been punished. That's all I've got for you today, gang. It was good seeing you. Thanks for stopping by. Take care of yourself. Keep your heads down. Till the next time, I am the Articulate Grunt. Catch you later.